Welcome back to Morning Mix. All right, today is National White Wine Day. We're going to be uh, diving into the wine world now. Wine is one of the most consumed beverages around the world, so why not join the club? Uh, <laughs> Dennis Sudumka uh, is here and with us in the studio, and he's going to tell us all about it. And uh, good morning, Dennis. Thanks for good joining morning. us. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate and it. And a fan. I like that. Yeah, I've watched, watched the show. show. It's good. It's a good show. Yeah, well, well we're it's happy good to have you here. here. Yes. So uh, let's let's talk about the white wine here. Is this more popular than the red wine, or is it opposite? It's um, it's really it's hard to say. Um, people have their own favorites. Some people love white wine. Some people love red wine. You can have pink wine. You have sparkling wine. There's all kinds of things. But white wine is the most popular in the summer because it's hotter. It's hard to drink a real complex, heavy red wine that you, you and and wine is meant to be consumed with food. It's not supposed to be a standalone drink. So right. in the summer, you're eating lighter foods: fish, shrimp, uh, chicken, stuff like that. And um, white wine is a perfect accompaniment, perfect accompaniment to it. It's uh, it's it just seems to go better. Plus, if you're sitting on the porch in the afternoon waiting for some for dinner, nothing better than a glass of cold white wine. There you go. Mm. All right, now we're talking my language here. Let's talk about some favorite wines, and you've actually brought uh, one of your favorites that you right. said not too many people are familiar right. with. Right, it's it's a, it's a it's a it's called a Viognier. Yeah, that's the name of the grape. It's a white wine, and white wines are really made from green grapes. Um, the way they make the wine is that you you grow it, you pick it, you crush it, and if it's a red red grape, a red wine, it'll have purple skin, and the purple skin gives the color to the red wine. Uh, the juice that comes out of purple grapes is the same as it comes out of green grapes. And Viognier is, um, is the name of the grape. Uh, it grows all over the world. It started out in the, in the um, Rhone Valley of France, but now it's grown all over. This particular one comes from uh, Paso Robles, uh, California, which is a right. really new hot wine region. It's a great place. And Viognier is great. It's refreshing. It's light. It's got uh, floral notes. It, you can taste a little peach on it, things like that. Mm. And I don't know how you feel about breakfast wine, but I brought some in case you wanted to taste it. And oh, <laughs> We've never sure. been one to shirk no. from a yeah. challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's do I can it. tell you that. <laughs> Even Tim over there is like, yeah. All right, all right. All right. I like this. And you said this is a, a dry wine. It's correct? a dry white okay. wine, yes. All right, so I, uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people remember that little I Love Lucy episode where she's like <laughs> dancing in the grapes. Yeah. Okay, but how is wine actually made? Um, well, it's it's an agricultural product. Obviously, it's food. Um, they grow the grapes, mm -hmm. and, and if, I would recommend going to visit wineries because they don't grow wine in ugly places. Everywhere you go to where there's grapes, it's beautiful, usually on a hillside or in a valley. Um, they grow these grapes, and they work on them all summer long. They have to pick leaves off, they pick grapes off, because you don't want too many clusters of grapes. It takes away from the quality. And then um, they, they pick them. They used to pick them in September, October in California. Now they're picking in August with global warming. And they're all around the world, they're picking right. earlier. They pick them, throw them in a vat. Um, they crush them. And they, there's different ways to crush them. Some are a rough crush. Some are real gentle, like with um, rubber bladders. They squeeze it gently mm -hmm. just to get the juice out. With a white wine, they usually take the skins off. Right. Uh, but they can leave them on. And then they, they ferment them. They throw some yeast in. And the yeast turns the sugar to alcohol. Uh, it can be in a barrel, it can be in a vat, a cement vat, all kinds of things. And then they barrel it. They put it in the barrels. Better wines will stay in the barrel a long time, maybe three, four months, maybe a year. And then they, they mm -hmm. siphon it off and filter out the bad stuff. And you've got a nice bottle of wine. And your wine will develop at home and continue to get better. Um, white wine doesn't age as well as red wine, but I've had white wines that are 10, 15 years old that were terrific. So. Oh, wow. Well, okay. there you have it. Well, it's only right that we try this yes. wine. All right. <laughs> So we have a, now you've got, it's like a weight on this glass. And I've seen these before and I'm not even familiar with that. That's it? just a, a novelty glass. I oh, got it. My son and I were traveling around the Midwest. We were going around the Great Lakes and we found that in Wisconsin. So I like that. Uh, and this is about my favorite white wine. A white wine glass, people think this is silly. And I used to say, oh, that's nuts. But the, white, the glass makes a difference in how the wine tastes. Um, big red wines have big open bowls to get you more of the aroma into your right. nose. These are a little smaller because you can concentrate the aromas. And that's a an little excellent bouquet. <laughs> there you go. See, see, that's the thing. <laughs> People love to uh, cheers. Cheers, everybody. People love to make a big deal about wine, and I, I try to demystify it because it's just another drink. It's something that goes with dinner, and you can impress people by swirling it around, but that has a purpose. It opens up the bouquet, the, the smell, the aroma. Oh, yes. And that smells good. Yeah. You think about food, aroma is a big part of food. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't smell, you can't taste. 
And see, I was just about to ask. I see this on movies. I actually want to go to a winery myself. <laughs> but should. I have. I have seen people smell, and then you do just a little taste, and you do a little taste. Is that correct? That's, that's the right way to do it. Okay. You, you want to get a good smell. And, and, and somebody we said, be well, fancy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Yeah. And if you hold up your pinky just right, you know. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh, yeah, the fancy. Oh, I was like, oh, You want to be really yeah. snobby okay. about it, you know? Hey, but, Tim, remember your pinky. Cheers, Tim, cheers you to you. Right. Pinky's up, all right. <laughs> okay, let's try. Mm. <clears throat> Very good. Breakfast wine. It's a new trend. It's, yeah, it can be. Right and you said this is a dry wine. Yeah. Usually I'm on the sweet side. Yeah, me too. But I find this pretty good, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. and this would be even better with a little bit of food with it, because mm, good. the good thing about wine is it makes the food better, and food makes the wine better. Mm. So it's a good combination. Oh, this is great. Well, good well, thank information. Thank you so Dennis, much. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. it. Well, appreciate it much. And speaking of uh, outdoors, white wine, 